are not ashamed. We're going to do a political rally and we're going to honor Jesus. We're going to say his name. We're not going to compromise. We're going to have Pastor Todd Coconado that came up here and delivered an awesome word. And we're not going to be ashamed. And they're not going to tell us separation of church and state. We are the church. And we run the state. The church as a business doesn't get to monetarily control the government. I will never let that happen. There will no church in Georgia monetarily control the government. But we are the church, friends. It's us. We are the church. And it says of, by, and for the people. The church runs the state of Georgia. This state is sovereign. This is our state. We decide what happens. We decide if we kill babies. Oh, really? Uh, so that's Georgia Republican candidate, if you didn't know yet, the Republican candidate, Candace Taylor with her uh, slogan there. Uh, what is it? Jesus, guns, and babies there printed on all of her buses because <laughs> apparently there's no such thing as separation of church and state because we are the state. We're the state. And she, she has so many contradictory statements here. She says, we're the, we're the church and we run this state. That's how this works? Is that what the separation between church and state is? Because you're the church and you run the state. And also that the church as a business cannot monetarily control the government. Then she says, the church runs the state. Which one is it, Candace? It doesn't matter. She just needs to push this whole thing that Christians are the superior religion. And of course, those white Southern Christians are the superior race in that religion. And that they should be running our country. She also thinks that sheriffs that have anything to push back on this should die because they're about the thin blue line. Watch more. Crime? That's not going to happen either. We're not making backroom deals with sheriffs. They're the highest constitutional officer in their county, and they're going to do the will of the people. I don't mind handcuffing them either. So, I mean it. I've heard it from sheriff corruption all over the state. We've got some awesome sheriffs, and praise the Lord for them. Pray for them. Even if you have a corrupt one, pray for them. And pray that they're replaced really quickly if they're corrupt. But I don't care. I don't mind handcuffing any single person who does who breaks the law and goes against our government. The Constitution says when you commit treason, it's death by firing squad. I didn't write it. It's in there. It's serious. Oh, that's serious. It's in there because that has everything to do with what I just said. It has nothing to do with what you just said. But also, I, I, as she's ranting and raving and losing her mind here, I, I would think that if you're in the church and you talk about the great words of what your pastor just said, you should have this calmness, right? You should have this, this ease with which you approach the world because you know that God's in control. You understand that whatever evils are approaching you, you don't have to uh, uh, use God as a reason to, to wield your angry iron fist. You should be like happy, right? There's supposed to be this 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 feeling of joy because you know the good news. You're on the side of God. Why are you so damn mad? It's because they don't actually know God because they don't actually care about the teachings because they're not being taught anything that Christianity is supposed to be teaching people. They're using it as a bludgeon to make sure that their violent intentions are carried out. So one more because she had a campaign ad. If that, if this doesn't, uh, Jackson, you heard about her campaign slogan. You're gonna love this ad. Watch. The governor's race in Georgia has four establishment politicians, and then there's Candace Taylor. And I'm one of you. And God made me a fighter. You sold us out to China. You hijacked our elections. And then there's you. You didn't fight for your own seat that you won. What were you doing? Playing golf or trading stock? Oh, and the Democrat plant, who has been accused of sexual assault over and over. Now, I'm done with the good old boys. And it's gonna get personal. Stacy, it's you and me. Let's let the people choose in a fight that's not rigged. Candace Taylor, the one we've been waiting for. I apologize, but I wanted Jackson, I wanted you to see that. So there's a lot here, there's that <laughs> ridiculous dumbass ad, but there's also her thoughts about church and state. What are you thinking, man? 
Oh man, but see, you had it all wrong. She's channeling God's righteous wrath through the <laughs> ad, through her slogan. That's all it is. You ask why she's so angry. It's just that righteous anger because they're here to deliver God's good news. But look, I mean, this is just fundamentally un-American. It just is. I mean, this is not what this country was founded on. And it's not about, well, what's the population? Whoever has the biggest population with religion, that's what runs it. Because again, this is un-American such to the point that all the people who don't identify with your version of Christianity or religion or Christianity at all, they don't matter. You know, so again, you're going to have to beat them down to to get your agenda across. So it's just it's ridiculous. It's authoritarianism, but again, they think it's God's righteousness. We've got a candidate. Uh, what's she running for? Who cares? Um, <laughs> the candidate that's running for office who didn't cut an ad where she's wearing boxing gloves and then there's there's powder getting thrown around, and then someone's supposed to watch that and go, you know what? I was undecided on this race. But Candace Taylor just released an ad where she's punching a bag and says, I'm taking the gloves off. I don't know who she's running against. And you're next. Aaron, ah! like this is our political <laughs> discourse now. God, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. And and it's it's beyond parody. Let's keep it real. These are the these either she's that dumb or she understands that her followers are that dumb or both. 